In 1908, the Monets had not traveled outside France for several years, but that autumn they received an invitation to come here to Venice. That invitation came from Mrs. Mary Hunter, an exuberant patron of the arts and society hostess who Monet had met in London through John Singer Sargent. Mary Hunter had rented this Gothic palazzo on the Grand Canal, Palazzo Barbaro. It was owned by Ariana and Daniel Curtis, and it was already at the heart of the American artistic community here. It had been immortalized in Sargent's portrait of the Curtises and in Henry James's novel, The Wings of the Dove. Typically, Monet wasn't affected by this social milieu or by the whole history of artists who had painted the city before him. But strangely, for an artist who'd been painting across water his whole life, here in Venice, he didn't start to paint for a week. He told his wife it was too beautiful to be painted. However, it seems that the city's autumnal light, which Monet called the unique light, drew him in. Monet infuses this quality, this autumnal quality, into his paintings by excluding people from them entirely. The Palazzo Contarini, he shrouds in mysterious shadow. Santa Maria della Salute seems to glow in the afternoon light, and the Grand Canal is completely empty of traffic. It's worth remembering, in the 15 years before Monet arrived here, the number of visitors to the city soared from around 160,000 to 3.5 million a year. This was thanks in part to the railways and to the Simplon Tunnel that allowed you to speed through the Alps like never before. And Venice was filling with hotels to accommodate these new tourists. So after a couple of weeks with Mrs. Hunter, the Monets came here to what was then called the Grand Hotel Britannia. And according to Elise Monet, the view was even more beautiful than that of Palazzo Barbaro. And you can certainly see over there in the distance San Giorgio Maggiore and around here, Santa Maria della Salute. On this very balcony, Monet painted scenes of San Giorgio Maggiore, the church glowing in the evening light. But he included a couple of swiftly painted gondolas to stand in for the city's residents and tourists. The feeling of memory which seems to haunt these paintings is particular to how Monet conceived them. He was only in Venice for a short period, he planned to come back the following year, and he wrote to his dealer, Duong Ruel, that he was doing some paintings on the off chance just to hold on to the memory. Sadly, Monet never made it back to Venice. He only picked up these canvases again in 1911 after the death of his wife, Elise, exhibiting them the following year so everyone could see this wonderful visual memorial of their happy time here together. After this, Monet dedicated himself to painting his garden at Giverny, making the Venetian pictures his last paintings of architecture.